Hi, I'm Dr. Francesca Zampollo and this is a food design service review. And now I am at the Blind Alley and it's time to have a coffee with raccoons. To review these services, I will be using the six propositions of the experience-centric service. So I am here at the Raccoon Cafe and actually it's called the Blind Alley. And, um, this is the raccoon. There's only one apparently. But he is very cute. I'm so afraid he's gonna bite me. Series of cues. Well, uh, not really anything uh, specifically designed with regards to that. Again, the raccoon part is optional. You go into the enclosures if you want to, and what happens in that is completely up to the raccoons, I guess. Uh, so we don't come back. Sensory design. Um, the food was good. The the, the food tasted nice. Um, the grapefruit juice was very fresh, I think, and definitely homemade and made here. Um, the food would the the bagel itself was you know okay, nothing. Amazing. Not a lot of attention to details with regards to the food specifically. It was good, but there wasn't, you know, attention to details. There wasn't much to it. The environment is uh, nice, uh, good, nothing mind blowing. Um, the enclosure where the raccoons are, that is kind of interesting. It's designed, I think, um, very well. There are these. Um, paths where the raccoons can walk up and down almost like I think the same as you can design for cats in your own house from the perspective probably for an animal like that it's good that it is in their own uh, they are in their own enclosure also they uh, shed quite a few hair I've noticed when I was petting them so it's good probably they are in their own uh, space and not you know around the tables Employees engaging customers, not at all, like zero probably. You order at the counter, you go at the counter to pick up your food when the buzzer that they give you uh, is vibrating. Uh, and actually, on my experience personally, they weren't particularly nice, not even that. This aspect for sure it wasn't, wasn't very good at all. Dramatic structure, was there a climax? Uh, well, yes, it's meeting the raccoon and petting the raccoon, uh, but that is up to you. If you want uh, that, you go into their enclosure and you meet them, otherwise um, you can just eat your stuff. And But I think that meeting the raccoon would be the only possible climax that you can have in here. Um, so it's good because if a theme cafe like this provides the possibility for you to have a climax and therefore the possibility for you to have special memories about the place. <laughs> we were given this instruction as soon as we arrived, so you could be beaten, don't bring any, any, any food, empty your pockets. So I went in there scared of what, what could have happened. Is the presence of fellow customers designed or managed? Not at all. Um, Everybody's doing their money, their own business. I don't know anything about them. They don't know anything about me. Relationship between backstage and front stage. Well, the kitchen, even though it is in its own room, has um, clear windows, so see-through windows. So it's possible to see in the kitchen. Yeah, it's okay. So, interesting, I met a raccoon, a pet raccoon, something that never happened before in my life, something probably never will happen again. Um, he was feisty, he was uh, probably bathing himself, <laughs> he was very busy. Overall, good, not mind-blowing, but pretty good. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you're interested in food design, you might be interested in the online school of food design the online school with online courses that will give you the tools to become a food designer tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to click on subscribe to never miss another video on food design. Thank you for watching and happy food design!